Hi everyone, this is HM and S video number 23 and you are most welcome for it. This video you are seeing here is HM and S video number 2 where we talked about introduction to Microsoft Excel for beginners. Below that video in the comments, St. Christmas TV ask, please I want to know if there is any video like this about MS Word, about Microsoft Word, cause I'm new. Not only that one, I've also received many messages from different people asking me about Microsoft Word. That's why today in this very video we are going to introduce Microsoft Word and then we continue. Let's switch on to it and we have this introduction to Microsoft Word. We are also going to start from scratch the way we did with introduction to Excel. Assuming someone is out there who completely doesn't know how to use Microsoft Word. This is going to be a very good video for you. What you are seeing here is actually my computer desktop and what is sitting on my desktop is just the logo of my YouTube channel. So there are actually very many ways of opening Microsoft Word. Let's explore them. First you can come to start, then you click, then in the start you will see all the applications and softwares which is installed in your computer. You can scroll over, it's actually arranged in alphabetical order. When you reach W, that's where you will find Word. You can simply click on it to open it. So that's one way of opening Microsoft Word. Another way is to use the search box. You simply need to come to the search box, you click, and then you type Word. You will see it on top. You simply need to click to open it. Or you can also right click on your desktop or wherever you want to open Word. You come to New, and then from the New, you have the applications here. Then from the New, you come to Microsoft Word document. When you click, it creates for you a Word document. You simply need to rename it, let's say, Introduction to Word. And then you hit Enter to rename it. So that's also another way to open Microsoft Word in Excel. You can simply click and push it wherever you want. Those are the three ways you can open Microsoft Word in your computer. Let's double click this one to open it. Wait for it to open. Now this is how Microsoft Word look like. If you use Microsoft Word again and again, maybe more frequently, you can come to the taskbar. Let me first minimize this. When it's open, you can come to the taskbar and then you right click. Then you come to pin to taskbar. Now when you click on pin to taskbar, it will remain on the taskbar. Instead of coming to the start, then you look for it from the start or coming to the search box, you simply find it on the taskbar because you've already pinned it there. Let's first close this. When you already have any form of application pinned to your taskbar, you simply need to go to the taskbar and then you find it here. Like for me, I have Microsoft Word also here. You simply need to click it to open it. So you wait for it to open. Now this is how Microsoft Word look like when you open it for the first time. The first thing you're seeing here is a greeting from Microsoft. Good afternoon. Now when you open your Microsoft Word in the morning, you will also be greeted, good morning. I'm being greeted, good afternoon, because it's the afternoon now. now. What you're seeing right now is what is called a start screen. That is the first screen you see when you open Microsoft Word. Let's start exploring Microsoft Word from here. Now from the start screen alone, there are actually a number of things you can do from here. Down there, we have these two options, the options and the account. Those one we shall see them later on, not in this video. Now let's come to these three tabs here. The open, the new, and the home. First of all, the start screen allows you to find a recently opened document in your PC. As you can see, they are already listed here. When you find it, it also allows you to open it just from the start screen here. The start screen also allows you to create a new Word document. And it also allows you to paint a document on top. For easy access. So let's see what I'm talking about. At the moment the tab we are on is the home tab. When you click on open, it gives you the provision for the document and then the folders. You can actually find the document from here or a folder and then also you can open it just from here. That's when you are on the open tab. Now these are the recently opened documents. If you hover over to any of these documents, like for example the introduction to Word, you can see before you reach the date modified, you can see this paint here. So this is the paint that is used to paint your document for easy access. Like for example, 
if I come to this pin and then I click once, it will be put under the pin. Now, as you can see, we have the pin on top here, and the document that pin is always put on top. So that's how you can paint your document just from the start screen for easy access. Another thing that you can do from the start screen is to create a new document. When you click on the new tab, you can see from here we have the blank document and below here we have the template gallery. So now this template gallery is giving you some template where you can start from. For example, if you come here and you want to write some essential report, you can simply click on this template and then you start modifying from there. That allows you not to start your report from scratch. You have somewhere where you can start from and then you just modify it. Now these templates, you can as well search the template online. You have this search box saying search for online templates. You can simply click on it, and then you search for any template you want if you are connected to internet. Now the home tab combines these two tabs. You can see the new is on top here, and then the recent documents are also listed below. Yeah, even the pin is also here. Yeah, when you click on the pin, you can see the one we pinned previously is also put on the pin here. So all those ones, you can access them just from the start screen. So for our introduction, we want to open a blank document. So you click on blank document. Now this is how Microsoft Word looks like when it's open. So you want to explore all these features you are seeing here. Now when you open a blank document like this, the first thing that I can recommend that you should do is to save it first. So on top here, yeah, this is what's called the name bar. It shows you the name of the document. Currently, we are seeing document one. That is the default name for Microsoft Word. So a new document is always created by document one, document two, like that one. But we want to first save this document before we even start doing anything. So for you to save your document, there are actually a number of ways you can do it. First of all, you can actually come to the name bar and then you click. When you click the name bar, it will give you the provision for saving your file. It's saying save this file. Here is the file name and then the choose location. This is the location where you need to save your document. Now the word document is having a .docx file extension. Now it always comes when it's highlighted, but in case it's not highlighted, you can simply click and then highlight. So when it's highlighted, you can delete that. Then you give it a good name like, for example, I'm going to save this one, word. Now you need to come to choose location. So by default, it saved the document on OneDrive. For us, we want to save it on our desktop. So I'm going to click on the choose location, and then I'm going to click on desktop. So it's saving my file as Word, and it's being saved on the desktop. If, for example, you don't want to save it, you can click cancel. But for our case, you click save. So once you do that, you can see the name bar. The name is now Word not document one. That's actually the first way you can save your Word document. The second way you can save your Word document is using the file tab. So what you're seeing on top here is what is called the tabs. We have the file, the home, the insert, the draw, design, review, view, those are tabs. So when you come to the file tab, you get what is called the backstage view. So what you're seeing right now is what is called the backstage view. It looks similar to the start screen, but you can differentiate them because on the start screen, we are having all the three tabs on top here, the open, the new, and the home. Then also these two options below. But now from the backstage view, we have all these other options here. That's how you can differentiate the backstage view from the start screen. So now from this backstage view, we also have the option for saving. We've already saved this document as Word document. But now if you want to simply save it because you have done something, you simply need to click on saved. But if you want to change the location and also change the name maybe, then you need to click on save as. Now when you click on save as, it gives you a lot of options here. You can save to different locations, but for our case you want to come to browse. You click on browse, you wait for it to open, so it will open for you the partitions in your computer. So for our case, first of all, before we even do anything, I'm going to change the name from Word to Word for Beginners. And then again, I'm going to come to the left-hand side 
and save it on the desktop you can actually look for the locations you want from this side here but for me i want to save it on the desktop so you select desktop and then you simply click saved and when you do that you can see the number now change from word to word for beginners so that is the second way how you can save your word document now you know very well that i like using the keyboard shortcut so much the keyboard shortcut to go to save as that we have just seen is f12 when you click f12 it will automatically open for you to save as you can change the name if you want so i'm going to say word for beginner video and then the location is still on the desktop then you click saved so those are the three different ways so you can save your work you can either use the file tab the name box or you can use the keyboard f12 to go to save us so the first thing you need to do is to make sure you've already saved your work on a location where you know so now let's start exploring we have already talked about this this is the name bar and then these are tabs here tabs tabs so we have the home tab the insert tab the draw tab the reference tab the review tab so these tabs here when you open microsoft word yours might look a little bit different from mine like for example i've customized my tabs you can see i also have francis tab here yours might look a little bit different from mine because of the difference in the office version we are using so when you click on a tab like for example in the home tab inside the home tab you have what is called a command group so this is a clipboard command group or a clipboard group you have the phone group the entire phone group is this area we have the paragraph group this is the paragraph group all this is the paragraph group we have the style group so these are the groups so inside the group we have what is called the commands so what you are seeing here are the commands this b is for bolding so this is the bold command this u with the underline is for underlining so it's the underline command so all you are seeing here are the commands this is the center command as you can see from the name which is also under the paragraph command group so the tab the command group and then the commands now what you are seeing at the bottom right corner of group is what is called more options or the dialog launcher now all these commands you are seeing are the commands which is related to the phone all these commands you are seeing here are the commands for paragraph if you want to do anything to do with the font you can come under the font group you can see for example we have the the increased font size here then we also have the font size here and then the font type is here so all these commands are related to font now because of limited space or because of a small space not all commands that's related to font is listed here some of them are not listed here because the space is not enough that's where you can go to the more options or the dialog launcher for you to get them like for example if i click on this dialog launcher it opens for me this dialog box and this dialog box on top here you can see it's talking of font and it's showing you the commands and things to do with font from the font you can also go advanced by clicking on this advanced and then you do advanced things with the fonts so i'm going to simply click cancel when you also come to paragraph you also have the dialog launcher you click all these commands are the commands that is related to doing things to do with paragraph in word so i'm simply going to close it using this x this time now when you combine all those together you get what is called a ribbon so this is what's called the ribbon so the tab the group and the commands makes up the ribbon now this one is showing my photo because i've already signed into my microsoft account if you are not signed in it will show you the sign in now we have the minimize that is used for minimizing microsoft word let me open it we have the restore down when you click on it it will just restore your document you can also restore it back and then the close button this is used for closing your document now we have the vertical scroll bar that is used for scrolling up and down and then also we have the scroll arrows the upward scroll arrow and then the downward scroll arrow so the white space you are seeing here is your canva or some people like calling it the workspace this is where you do the typing and everything is done here now you are seeing this eye which is blinking that is showing you the current position where when you are typing the text will appear 
Like for example, if I come here and do introduction, introduction to word, you can see that the letter I'm typing is appearing where the I, that current location is pointing. You doesn't necessarily need to start from here. You can actually click anywhere in your Canva. You can double click like here, then you start typing. So I'm going to backspace, space, backspace to remove this. So now on top here, we have what is called the search box. This is used for searching the commands. If you don't know exactly where a certain command is located, you can simply come and search from the search box here. Now, for example, if I come and highlight what I've typed here, if you want to highlight, you simply click next to it and then you scroll over it to highlight it. Then I come to the search box. I can simply type bold to get to the bold command. When I see it here, when I click on it, you can see that my sentence is now bolded. That's from the search box. Now down here we have the zoom control. Now the zoom control also has the zoom level. By default, it's always zoom at 100%. But when you click on the zoom level, then you scroll to the right, it will zoom in your Canva. And when you scroll to the left, it will zoom out the Canva. You can also use this minus and plus button. The minus button will zoom it out, and then the plus button will zoom in to the Canva, as you can see. Now, as we also saw last time in Excel, Microsoft Word also have modes and layout. Like, for example, what you're seeing here is the read mode. This is the print layout mode, and then the web layout. By default, Microsoft Word is always open in the print layout. This is the print layout, the one we are seeing. When you click on the read mode, this is how the read mode looks like. It makes it easy for you to read your words. And when you click on the web layout, this is how the layout looks. But by default, it's always on the print layout. Now, these modes also, when you come to views, you can also see them here. So by default, it's always on the print mode. Before we end this video, let's talk about one thing. When you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see it's talking of page one of one. This is one page. So this area here shows you the summary of the information, which is here. Currently, we have three words. That's why it's talking of three words here. Now, if I come here and do a formula in Word, by the way, you can also do a formula in Word. Like, for example, there's this formula that is commonly done in Word, the run, which is an arguments function. This run function is also there in Excel, and very soon we're going to learn more about it. If I do the equals to the run, and when I hit enter, it generates for me some random sentence, as you can see. So now, when you come down here, you can see it's still talking of page 1 of 1, but now 242 words. So it has generated for me 242 words. Now if I do some page break, like for example, when I hit control, enter, that's how you can do page break. It breaks this page and create for you a new page down here, as you can see. Now, this is now page one, and this is now page two. Now, when you come down here, you can see now, when I'm in page two, it will be talking of page two of two. But when I scroll up here, and then I click somewhere in page one, down here, it will be giving me the information of page one of two. So there are two pages in this document, but currently, I'm on page one. But maybe before we end this video, I have this tab here, which is written Francis. So this tab here is a customized tab. I've just customized them and placed there what I used most in Microsoft Word so that I can easily get to them. So we shall see how we can customize our tabs and do something like this in a later video. We shall also see different techniques of typing, ways that can help you to type faster in Word and easily. We shall see them in one of the future videos. So that is it for introduction to Microsoft Word. Now, Microsoft Word is mostly used for writing reports and typing documents. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you found this video interesting, like it and share it with your friends. Until next video, HMNS video number 24, and then we meet again. Thank you.